Okay, you got a little personality, add a cup of voice, a dash of mannerisms. Now we're going to be like the Swedish chef and put it all together, bark it up, bark it up, and make an MPC to bark it up, bark it up. back now in the last three videos we were talking about putting together NPCs on a card we talked about three traits and I said personality voice and mannerisms we've already done that so let's put them together and see how that works um, let's see I need a fence and I don't mean a picket fence I mean a fence because the uh, the party has gotten a lot of swag and loot out of the dungeon and they need somebody to uh, you know they got to turn it. They want to turn into do re mi, so they need some. And the thief especially needs a fence because some of his stuff he doesn't know if it's hot or not. So what we came up with last time, I remember in the personality section, we came up with a loquacious um, guy. And so um, one of the one of the terms was loquacious, and since I didn't write it down, I'll fake the rest. Um, so. To me, for a voice, that comes out as a very low voice. You know, you can go gravelly like this, but if you just want to go like that, and if, and if it's a D and D, and if it's a D and D type game, I tend to I tend to make it more like this. All right, and um, he seems kind of nervous. The mannerisms I came up with are kind of. A little bit nervous so it gives you one of these oh that's a nice oh yeah that's 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 be oh that's nice yeah that's that's, that's real nice T tell you what I'll give you uh, uh I'll give you 25 go for the dot what well I don't, well I can't really give you much more now I could only do it about the price of bear you know <laughs> but uh, anyway uh, so he comes off like that. So you got the three traits. You've got the name, occupation, per slash purpose, traits. One more thing you should put down on that card. Appearance. Do say one line. What does he look like? He or she. Just one line. Um, and it's just like, how tall or short are they? Color their hair? Clothes they wear? Um, how they move their body? That's part of the mannerisms thing. Um, and there you have a complete NPC. Well, not complete. I mean, you don't have stats for it or anything, but you can play. I can play this in a game. I can run that. Uh, I, you, so, and basically people, sometimes people think you get off the top of your head. Uh, with a little push, yeah. But, you know, ad-libbing... I call it flying by, by the seat of your pants or pulling it out of my... Uh, my, but uh, you know that stuff as I've said before that stuff can be prepped to a certain extent you don't prep what you're doing if they throw something at you you use your resources you keep your resources there and this is one of them NPC resources I've got whole I could do whole files of these um, and if I need stats depending on the game say if I play a basic rule cyclopedia D&D &D, um, I have a box somewhere around here with pregens, depending on what the class is. So if I need quick, quickie stats for somebody, uh, say they're a current or an X something, like adventurer, fighter, whatever, and just pull the appropriate class, and there's my stats. Um, if, you know, if you're doing the big bad, you got to bump it up a little, maybe. Um, but, you know, except for your special, I'm talking about your run-of-the-mill NPCs, you people you run into every day. Anyway, that's all I got right now for NPC making, if I think of more later. But for now, this little segment of this uh, series is done. And so if you liked it or didn't like it or whatever, drop me in line at oldmangrognard at gmail.com. And I'll have more goodness next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>